Hello everyone, my name is Ilir2 and welcome back to my Let's Play uh, of EU4 with the uh, Extended Timeline mod with the Safarids, aka Zunistan, Zun Zunistia, Zunbil, whatever the fuck you call us. Uh, so in the last episode we pushed deeper into India and we converted pretty much all of our original land, pretty much Pakistan into Zunists, which is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I think in this episode we're going to go up to Ladakh, start pushing up north. The Somnids, you know, how strong are they? We might need to rival them eventually, but the Somnids, are they a little bit more powerful? Yeah, they're at 22,000 about. All right, but let's get up to Ladakh, because we got to go take some land over. All right, go ahead. Hey, trade protection. Who doesn't love a bit bit of trade protection against our enemies? I know I sure do. Alright, time to die, Ladakh. You've been a good enemy, but, you know, whatever. Alright, just kill him. Is he looping around? I think he's looping around. Ooh, that rascal. Right, he converted another land. Great. Converting all this um, Hindu land is really easy, because they're technically heretics. Well, I, okay, not con it doesn't help with conversion. You would expect converting heretics to be much easier than heathens. But they don't make that in-game. They just don't for some reason. Whatever. Yeah, but converting a Hindu is way easier than converting Sunni. So I think I'm, I'm going to attempt to push into, like, ooh, the Tengri lands should be really easy to con uh, convert as well. I can embrace... So yeah, apparently uh, feudalism is a thing. And then, what's the other one? No, we have that one. Yeah, crop rotation. Those are the two that we're missing right now, and that's okay. We'll get that later once we can act. Oh, civil service is now a thing. Once we can actually get technology, then we'll start embracing some um, institutions. So just give me all your money and all your land. And there we have it. Let's core it. Uh, we're going to have a bit of unrest for a while. That's okay. You get down there to heal up because you're getting... Oh, wait, never mind. Kill the rebels first. All right, this expensive. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, oh, wow, that's a lot of people. Uh, these guys, tributary of Tang and ally with Pala. These guys are a vassal of Pala. Awesome. Awesome is allied with... Oh, they're at war with Pala. That's not good. But they're allied with huge... These guys who are worthless. Let's go ahead and build a spy network. We really need to take Paula down. Problem is, they have 36,000 soldiers and lots of vassals and allies. So, uh, they have Kangra. Kangra? Where's Kangra? I have no idea. Eh, what does it matter? Alright, so we need to keep going down early religious ideas because we need to get that uh, mission and strength increase. Then they have tolerance of heathens. We'll be very tolerant. That's good. I like being tolerant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't really care about that place. Anyways. Uh, so, yep. Converting. Um, getting awesome right now. Garwal, unfortunately, is totally trapped. Hopefully, Paula doesn't, like, just annex everyone. We might be able to push all the way into, like, China. That would be good. Into, like, the rest of Tibet. I do want that. It's just land, you know. Might as well have it. Uh, do I want this right now? Oh my, who, who, who's the asshole who's ahead in time? Who's the asshole? Alright, uh, I'm not going to waste that. Instead, can you convert? No, you have separatism. Shit. Okay, uh, well, we'll just increase a development then. Yeah, increase development of just one province to 14. Good. So now Karan, the Baluchi area, is quite large. And of course, it is glorious Zunist. So that's good. Das ist gut, ja. Alright, awesome. We can claim this land. Please, Paula, don't be a dick and don't take that land over. Oh, look, the Xamonids are at war yet again with the Karakhanids. Let's go ahead and build Spy Network on them now. Hopefully, we can push up, take over the Uyghurs. Your gears are really split apart for some reason. 
My plan, honestly, if I could just loop around, take over like all this area, because the Taurids are actually vassals of the Abbasids, which is not good. But if I could just take over this whole area, just create a gigantic Zunus empire, that would be great. That would be really great. Alright, the Ladaki. And uh, they're gonna rise up. That's alright. That is alright. It's alright, ladies and gentlemen. And get two more army, two more, uh, 2,000 more, I mean, 2,000 more men. That's good. Can make another state. Sind can actually become a state. I'm okay with that. Can I make Cindy into accepted? No, I cannot. Alrighty then. And force limits, still at 18, unfortunately. Can't, what's the, f ooh, wow. You know what? Split in half. That's fine. Two 9,000 armies. That's all right with me. Oh, God. The Karakhanids are just getting destroyed. That's never a good sign. Oh, no. They pieced out of one of them. I'm okay with that. Fucking Somnids, man. They're just in the way. Okay. There's Asami's Ooh. Just called Ooh for some reason. Let's get on over there with our armies. You can get the shitty later. And, uh, oh, we still need to core that land. Oops. We'll core that. And, uh, go to war. Let's get rid of that, uh, guy. Go to war. They're allied with some random ass dude that doesn't matter. Whatever. Let's go out, take the land over. Now, it shouldn't be that hard. For, it's just for Tibet. Right? So. Oh, shit. We need 10 war score. Can we actually reach? Oh, we can actually go to Assam. That's good to know. Here. Okay, can we attack them here now? Thank you. Actually, we cannot attack them. Never mind. Screw me. They're just gonna loop all the way around here, aren't they? Those little bastards. Alright, just catch them. You'll eventually catch them. I believe in you. Oh, looks like Pagan is actually at war with them. Yay. Wanna peace out? Come on, buddy. You know you wanna peace out. It's not worth it, awesome. Oh my god, they actually beat the crap out of me. Great. Yeah. Fantastic. Really. Just what I needed right now. Uh, keep conversions. Oh, and gain corruption, I guess. Of course, now we're going to have fucking rebels. Only 8,000, so we can actually take them out if we just sit here. Uh, they're just going to siege up the lands, I suppose. That's fine. Convert both of these Mahianan areas. It's really easy to convert them for some reason. How odd. How incredibly odd. Come on, Ladakh. Rise up. Just do it. Ser seriously? Come on. Fuck it. Take the risk. Destroy that damn army. Right, we have a drought. Beautiful. Up there. Come on, catch him. Yes, great. Firm yearly tribute. Fuck you guys. But yes, I will say yes. I will always say yes. So he's running all the way back, really. That's his plan, to run all the way back to his mainland. <sighs> Fine. Can we peace out, though? Great. We're going to have to wait for it to take on just a little bit more. Oh, how I love that. Leader trade gains. Here, let's just move you down. Now, this was a very annoying war, I will be honest. You annoy me, and now he's resieging land. I love this dude. Come on. Almost there. Just one more, or a couple more months. There you go. About damn time. Alright, so core that land. That's all Vajrayana as well. Good to know, and Karakhanids, no, they're actually at war with Ketans now. Okay. Well, if we get up there, we can begin our war with the Karakhanids. Take some of our, let's take some of their land over. I know all this land is really disconnected. It's very border gory, but it's just what we gotta do for now, you know? Just what we gotta do. Here, let's get a good leader. Four shock. Oh boy. Everyone knows back at 900 AD. Everyone had shock. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. Everyone had it. So happy I got it. 
Yay, less war exhaustion. Right, I had a lot of war exhaustion. That is a problem. Hey, can you uh peace out, Kitan, please? Be a lamb. Oh, Paula annexed uh Kashmir. That's always great. Come on, you're only 51%. Really, man? Come on, don't do this to me. They're out who are they allied with? Oh, the Mirakits and Urgiers. They're allied with the Ketons, so I well, that's important, I guess. Here, let's take all these lands over and we'll wait. Oh, damn, Paula is scary. Paula is quite frightening, if I do say so myself. And I do. Our war or our truce ends with Gujarat at 909. That's coming close. Oh come on, Ketan. You're kind of just being a dick now. You're, you're, you're kind of just being an asshole, all right? You're just, you're just an asshole. Oh, there you go. Um, peace out. <sighs> Come on, dude. I'm gonna walk all the way to your fucking capital. It's gonna take forever. Yes, we'll confirm yearly tribute. That's fine. <sighs> and we'll continue conversions of the Vajrayana land. Are we converting this area? Yes, yes, we are. Good. Oh my god. What is up with this negative stability shit? Stop it. I need stability. Please. Alright, and there you go. Taking that land over. Let's move on back down. For all this land. And, uh, well, institutions, I might need them very soon, because it is coming. It is a coming. Usang, they're ready to rise up. I need to postpone that war with the Gujarats. Or Gujaras, I mean. Not Gujarat. And I have no manpower. Oh boy. Uh, we won that battle. Great. But now, Cindy? Why the fuck do we have Sins? Why do they want to rise up? Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, well, let's just increase autonomy here. I just can't afford all these rebels rising up. I just can't right now. So the sins are gonna rise up in that area, and that's okay with me. They'll also, uh, people will rise up up here. It's fine. In reality, we have uh, Gujara totally under lock and key at this point. No one can really attack them. I guess maybe Konkin that can, but they're actually a vassal, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't really want serfdom. I don't care for it. So we'll just get that. Core creation cost negative 25%. Hell yes. That is going to be good. That is a huge amount. I'm surprised I actually got that amount. Jesus. Are you kidding me? The sins are actually going to be the first to rise up? Oh my god. I'm currently two and a half men in the hole. So maybe I should raise additional levies. Come on. Let me have this. Alright, cool. I'll you just sit there. When they inevitably rise up, they'll have only 10,000. Cute. Alright. Um, oh, this land is going to be annoying. Come on. Let the Cindy rise up. Oh, actually, can I... Oh, there you go. Increase autonomy. And there you go. No Cindy uh, uprising. That's good. How many are going to rise up in Yarkin? 13,000. Ugh. That's annoying. How much do I have? Okay, development 238. That's a good amount. You know, if I can ally with Tang. I know they're dominant or overlord right now, but... Oh, subjects can't ally overlords? I guess that makes sense, but like, I really kind of need an ally to destroy Pala with me. So they're allied with Kangra. Kangra is... That dude, right there, that is that is about it. Wow, okay. They're probably going to vassalize them, too. Paula is just way too fucking strong. We will take them down. Oh, Malwa? Oh, fuck. Malwa is a Muslim area. Of course, they have to be allied with the gigantic Jain people. But whatever. It's weird. Hindu and Jain have the exact same color. That's, that annoys me. That annoys me quite a bit. This land... This land is getting converted. Good. And we're not gonna, we can't lose money right now. 
Alright, so let's move our soldiers up. Because we gotta put down that rebellion. Alright, and converting the Tangri is super easy. Because they're Tangri, so... Yay. Oh, you lost that battle, didn't you? Get in there, get in there. Oh, you fucking assholes. Come on, take them down. You can do it. I believe in you. We have, like, no manpower now. Yeah, we're 7,000 manpower in the hole. Yay. Just what I wanted. All right, we also need to rival some more people. Uh, Somnids. We'll rival them. Yugears. We'll rival them as well. Luckily... The Salmonids can't fuck with us because we are uh, under the Tang, so that's really good. That's really fucking good. Uh, so we're still wanting to go to war with Gujara. We have claims all over their provinces. It's going to be super useful. Fuck. Fine. Pay Tang money. God damn it. Really can't be losing money right now, but whatever. I need that money for the institutions. Hopefully it spreads a bit more. Yep. It's 1880 now. It's 376. This one's going to help me. The manpower recovery speed. That's going to help me just a little bit more. But it's going to cost me a lot more money. And our dude died. Oh boy. Oh my god. My dude's 20, uh, my, 45. Really? Well, there goes the Safarid dynasty. <laughs> Great. Oh, and a drought and Kalat. A lot is Baluchi and Zunist. Yay, I needed that. They want military power now, for whatever reason. They're still allied with Hurikala. Where the fuck are they? Oh, right. They just have a very similar color, so I couldn't really see them. But, uh, yeah, they're there. I'm gonna want my military... Um, uh, my military... My manpower just increase for now. Paula wants access... Oh shit, they just went to war with um, Gurujara. Well, not Gurujara, but their ally. Ugh. Well, at least they won't have an ally now. That's good. Das ist gut. Yeah, yeah, das ist gut. Das ist gut. Loyal states. I don't care. But uh, now we need to go over to Usang, Kam, Tanguts, Liao. We basically need to just move around Pala. We just need to take over as much po area as possible and spread glorious Zunism. <gasps> did we actually get an heir? We did. Great. Three, two, one, but that is an heir. Is there any Muism left? No. It's all Mahayana now. Sad. How incredibly sad. Oh, and hey, Nestorian. There, I forgot. There's Christianity in uh, Mongolia. Yeah. Oh, look at all that Judaism. Kazaria, congratulations. You actually have Jews. Uh, what else? Lots of Muslims in uh, southern Italy, which is, I guess, historical. Is there any... No? Well, yeah, Muslims are pushing into Africa. Axum is still a thing. The Abbasids are sitting on top of them. That's gotta suck. That's gotta suck a lot. Conquer Axu. Where the fuck is Axu? I have no idea where Axu is. And nor do I care. Well, now it definitely can't go to war with Gujara, or else Pala will be able to attack them. Although, you know what? I, I think it's safe. Let's just go to war. Their ally won't even join. So now, uh, Pala can cross through our lands into um, Gujara, which is fine, because I already own all the land. Shit. Never mind. Get in there. Destroy that army. Great. Uh, split in half when you go there, when you go there. Awesome. So now we can annex this dude. Hooray. How much is that going to cost me? Probably quite a bit. Uh, only 265. Not that bad. Uh, we're so close to getting that missionary. Oh, actually. If we do this, we can get that core uh, creation cost decrease. So now it's only 215. Yay! Hooray! Alright, their capital is getting ready to fall. I don't want to annex them just yet because my overextension is going to be a bitch until I can actually um, get enough. Ooh, that yearly inflation decrease. You know, I have a lot of inflation. Let's get that dude. Until I can get enough uh, admin power. So we shall wait. 
Wait, we shall. Oh, and we need to uh, continue conversion of the dreaded Tangri. Don't need them in our country. Get on out of here. There you go. Bye, Zunists. I won't. I won't miss you at all. Oh, wait, no. Goodbye, Zunists. Goodbye, Tangri. Hello, Zunists. That was weird. Okay. Again, invest in the new technology. The Royal Guard, I really need that. So let's go ahead and embrace early feudalism. Royal Guard will be a 116. Oh, God. Oh, uh, uh, I mean, I'm sorry. 100. 100. 1,166. That is a lot. And paper money, which gives me nothing, but I might as well get it. Because I'm not using my Diplo power on anything else, so, you know. I guess I could, like, increase mercantilism, but I don't really care at this point. I really don't. Uh, at least we're getting lots of in this power. And Kashmir, we're also probably increasing. Pala, of course, owns everything because they have the important center of trade. And it's probably their home node, too. So that's not good for us. Losing barely any money. Fantastic. Mostly because we actually got that advisor, and that advisor costs two ducats. Ugh. Mm. Two ducats per month. Horrible. Absolutely horrid. How do you even get... Do you have, like, naval access with someone? Because I don't know how you're affording that. Whatever. We just need 217, and then we could just totally annex him. Wait, I'm sorry. What? <gasps> oh, they actually own this province in the middle here. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, that, that's real weird. Wow. Fuck that shit. All right, I'll just lose a bit of money. So I'm not going to totally annex them. Okay. Okay. Coalition. Eh, it's not anything, actually. All right, one more month. And there we go. Take all their important lands. How about that? All the actual important lands. Lots of uh, development, right? Yeah, 17 development there. That's a good amount. All right, you know what? This is where I'm going to have to end this episode. Yes, so... We are now inside Tibet, and we're moving north. We're going to have to move... No, fuck. The fucking Samanids are at war with them. Are you kidding me? Samanids, you are too power hungry. Whatever. We'll beat them up later. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Elyra too, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Uh, goodbye. Uh...